Hey there, Brandon Spilly here from ThirstShim.com, and today we're talking about an exercise called the Wide Stance Anti-Rotation Band Chomp. Our first exercise, you're going to want a band and something you're going to tie that band to. So we're going to choke it through itself here, and that's going to give me the band I need. And since we're doing this as an anti-rotation chop, we actually want this around chest to belly button level, somewhere around there. And then just as like the name implies, we're going to start off with a wide stance. So feet are going to be outside of my hips. Think of like an athletic base position. We're going to take our hands double overhand holding onto the edge of the band. And then from this athletic position with my arms straight, I'm just going to take this. I'm not going to actually rotate my body. My hands are just going to be doing the movement. Okay. So this is about resisting the rotation, but being in that athletic stance here. So I'm going to come from cross across my body. If I want more range of motion, I can kind of turn myself away from it. But usually you want to stay pretty parallel and then just step away as far as you need. If you want more tension, move your hand closer towards the rack because that's going to increase the tension that you want. But again, the goal here is not to have the trunk actually rotate. We're going to take the hips out of the equation and just make this a resistance and challenging anti-rotation for this exercise. Now, I would recommend you do this between 8 to 12 reps on each side. This is great, as I mentioned, for resisting rotation. So you still want to make sure you've got some kind of rotational component, especially if you are a rotational athlete. You're trying to develop the hip component of the rotation of how you're rotating about the hips. That's incredibly important, but this is trying to isolate staying nice and strong in that midsection. So you feel like you see athletes that have energy leaks throughout their midsection as they're going to do rotational based things, then this would be a good place to start before you start to implement some of that other rotational stuff. Also, if you're just looking for a different abdominal or trunk exercise on top of your pallet presses and things of that nature, this one works great as well. So again, three to four sets of eight to 12 reps per side should be plenty. Any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, have a great day.